Hello and welcome back to the Lobo Designs channel. My name is Heather Lynn. I'm the owner of Lobo Designs and I'm here today with a quick tutorial on how to create a dashed line or a dashed shape that is laser friendly and will be recognized by your laser software. So let's get started. I'm going to start by creating a line on my artboard and then I'm going to turn that into a dashed line and then I'm going to go through all the steps again for one of the shapes in the shape menu over here. So let's get started on the line first. So you can use your line segment tool, which is over here in the shape menu. You can right click if you don't see it in there. You're going to click line segment tool or you can hit the backslash key on your keyboard. I'm holding down the shift key and I'm going to click and drag across to create a straight line. Currently this line has a black stroke and no fill because it's just a line, it's just one path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thicken up this stroke so you can see it a little bit more. And then we're gonna go into the stroke properties so I can show you how to turn it into a dashed line. So I'm going to bump the stroke up here. Let's bump it up to something thick, that should work. And now I'm gonna go into the stroke properties by clicking on the word stroke over here in the appearance panel. I'm going to click on stroke and then you're going to see a lot of options in here. And the option that we're working with today is called the dashed line option, which is right here in the middle. I'm going to select dashed line and as you'll see on my artboard, it turned it into a dashed line. But what we're worried about in this tutorial is making it laser friendly, which is what it looks like in outline view. So let's hop over to the artboard here and I'm going to change from preview mode to outline view. Command Y or Control Y on your keyboard. And as you can see, it turns back into a solid line, which is not what we want for our laser, which means that we're going to have to do some editing in preview mode to make sure that we can see the dashes just like we see them in preview mode in our laser software. So what you would do here is you would simply expand the shapes. So I'm going to use the selection tool V or this arrow up here on the left-hand side. I'm going to go up into the object menu. I'm going to hit expand appearance and then I'm going to go back up into the object menu again. I'm going to hit expand and then I'm going to make sure that all of these options are as they show on my screen and then click OK. And what you'll see here is when you switch over into outline view now, it will recognize each one of these dashes as its own path that your laser will follow either for engraving or cutting. Let's do this one more time for a shape. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool, which is M on your keyboard. I'm gonna hold down shift and make a square. I'm going to shift this from stroke to fill by hitting shift X, or you can hit this arrow over here on your colors menu on your toolbar. And I'm going to thicken the stroke again. I'm gonna make it an eight point stroke just so we can see it a little bit better. And then let's go into the stroke properties. When you're in the stroke properties now, if you wanted to turn this square into a dashed square, you're going to click the dashed line box and then you control what it looks like based on these boxes that I'm hovering over. So you either would have it not preserve the exact dash length, which means that sometimes your corners, let's go in here so you can see this a little bit more. See how the corners are entirely uneven. One of them has half a line, one of them meets, one of them turns into a corner. So you can select this and actually go in here and you can make sure that everything is even by hovering over this box, which aligns all of the dashes to the corners properly, which looks a lot cleaner and a lot more aesthetically pleasing. And then you would do the same thing for this square. You would go up into the object menu, expand appearance, back into the object menu, expand, click OK, and then it would be ready for your laser to either engrave or cut. Now, one more thing about this that's fun, I'm gonna push these out of the way for a moment. You can also control the length of your dashes. So I'm going to draw another straight line on my artboard. I'm going to bump the stroke up so we can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna go back into the stroke properties, turn it into a dashed line, and now I'm going to show you what these boxes mean along here if you wanna play with the length of the dashes and the gaps. So if you wanted one of these to be a smaller dash and then a larger dash and then so on and so forth, you could change the length here by doing 30 point, maybe let's do a 15 point gap, and then let's do an 80 point dash, and then a 15 point gap, and then a 30 point, and then a 15 point. So now you're controlling the length of each of these, which means that the dashed line no longer looks like the one that we created prior, which was an even 30 point all the way across. It's now being driven by the settings that you entered. And again, this one would work the same. You would wanna make sure it's selected with the selection tool, object, 
expand appearance, object, expand, click OK, and then it's ready to send over to your laser. I hope this was helpful in showing you how to create a laser friendly dashed line. And that concludes this tutorial. As always, feel free to join us in the GlowCreate group on Facebook for additional tips and tricks on how to use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator beyond the screen to turn your digital artwork into physical products. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.